Hi everybody, I'm totally trying a new webcam way to do this. So let's see how weird this works out. So rescue plane drops supplies, uh, isolated mountain climbers on a rocky ridge 235 meters below. So whenever you've got this kind of drop problem, 235 meters, we can get the time in the air. That's always a first step. So for this one, how far in advance of the recipients must the goods be dropped. Well, if it takes five seconds to fall and you're going a hundred meters per second, then you need to drop them five seconds, hundred meters per second, five times 100 meters ahead of time. So we'll start out by figuring out the time it's in the air. Um, something like square root of the height divided by 4.9 you'll get a value and then um, the distance in the horizontal is just velocity in the horizontal times time it's in the air the velocity in the horizontal they give you as being some not very easy to work with number like 69.4 meters per second um, and that ought to do it for part a part b though is not Oh, you are still 235 meters in the air, but if you give it a vertical speed, then the amount of time it's in the air can be very different. So we're going to be doing something like um, the distance that it has to fall, um, start the starting vertical speed plus that one half acceleration times squared. This, of course, is going to be gravity, so half of negative uh, 9.8. We don't know what this piece is. Uh, this time, though, what we'll do is we'll solve, we can figure something out about time. Because if this thing is still traveling with a horizontal speed of 69.4 meters per second, and we know it has to go through a displacement of 425 meters. Well, then we can figure out the time in the air. Its velocity is um, displacement over time. So if you're solving for time, it'll be something like your displacement divided by your velocity. So we'll get our time there. Now, up here, we can plug in time. We'll start out with a time uh, with a, an initial velocity of zero, and what that will tell us is how far the package will drop by the time the airplane is overhead. So, do I need to solve this? Um, once you figure out, again, plugging in time. Once you figure out how far the package falls, then you can figure out well if it needs to fall another. Uh, 20 meters, how do I get another 20 meters? And that's how you plug in this part. Um, see. I just checked, looks like it has to fall about an additional 60, 60 meters uh, in order to make it to those mountain climbers in time. So if you need to fall an additional 60 meters, then how fast you have to be going to cover that 60 meters. Um, I hope that gives you enough of what you need. Oh, there's all my writing. All right, let me, let me erase that and I'll try to put it back. So if you need to fall another 60 meters, then what does that initial vertical speed have to be to get there in the amount of time, which you know, somewhere around six seconds. That's what you found out because of that horizontal distance piece. Um, okay, so that should get you there. And that's all I have to say about that. Bye-bye.